the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. We choose Christ and count all else as loss. Christ and count all else as We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Scott from People of the Cross from our desk here in the church. I want to say God bless you today. This is a fantastic day. You know why it's a fantastic day? Because I have God on my side. He is my Lord. He's my Savior. He's my soon coming King. He loves you so much. That is why he is greatly to be praised. His name is to be praised above all things. I'm coming to you today uh, from Psalms chapter 145. But I'm going to talk a little bit today about exalting God. I will exalt you, my God. O King, I will bless your name forever and forever. It is so important that we lift God's name above all other names. If you're having a bad day, you're having a bad moment, get off to your prayer closet or get off by yourself or you're driving down the highway and you happen to be listening to the YouTube or whatever. You may be joining us in on Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you might be. And just alone with Jesus Christ. And start exalting him and praising him. And all of a sudden, your troubles just seem to go away. I promise you, the more you praise God, the more your troubles will dissipate and go away from you. God loves you that much that he will see to it that he takes care of his children. David, you know, is, is more pertains to the greatest son of all was David. David wasn't always the perfect man. But he had a heart after God. That's why God continually blessed David. You know, today, we're not perfect. We walk away, we stray from God, but we can come right back to where we were at before. Just like David did. Every time David did something wrong, he got along with Jesus Christ and he prayed, God, forgive me. Forgive me for cause I was wrong. And David did some mighty bad things when you start looking in the Bible. But God forgave him because he knew his heart. God knows your heart wherever you might be. You think nobody knows you. Nobody cares about you. I've done so much in this earth. I've done so much bad that nobody could even care about me. Who can have mercy for me? I know one that can, and that's Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He loved you that he died on the cross for your sins. And pure and simple today, wherever you are at, you're lost and you're dying and you don't know Jesus Christ. All you have to say is, Father, forgive me. Speak it with your lips. Say it from your heart and breathe it and mean what you say. And Jesus Christ comes in and your life will change instantly. and Your name will be written down in the Lamb's book of God. I just want you to know today, sinner, God died for you. We are all sinners and we're only saved by grace. I am no better than you except I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed by the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ because he loved me and I've accepted that challenge that he loved me that much that I wanted to accept him and make him Lord and Savior of my life. That's what I'm asking you to do today is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. And as we do that, we start studying and reading the Bible. We learn the most important thing is, is that we exalt God. We exalt him above all things. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever. It's not just one, it's not just for today, but it's one day at a time. And one day more closer to Jesus Christ to the day that his son is coming back. He's coming back. God is coming on that white horse. And this will be the second time he comes. And this will be the final time when the trumpet sounds and he's coming back for his own. Greatly is great as the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. It's talking about the land the escape. First time in human history is bathed in peace and the praise of such will be given to the Lord Jesus Christ. You can be that person today. You can be the one that says, yes, Lord. You can be the one that is changed in a moment of a twinkling of an eye. And once you have said that and you believe it 
And each and every day, I, I strongly believe that we must ask God to forgive us of our sins daily. It says in the word we have to die daily. It means we're dying. We're not dying a death of a human death right now, but we're dying a death unto sin. The devil is no longer controlling our life, but Jesus Christ is. So God bless you from the people of the cross, from the pastor's desk. This is Pastor Scott from People of the Cross Church. Come and visit us. We would love to have you. And if you've seen something that you like today, be sure to say something on YouTube, on Facebook. Let us know how you're liking it. We love you. God bless you. Till next time. Amen. We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross.